Hey family, welcome back to I Love Me, Me, Me. Today's topic of discussion is, are you in a fantasy land about what your relationship should look like? So we're gonna talk about that in a moment. Stay tuned. Okay, again, welcome back to I Love Me, Me, Me. If this is your very first time to my channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button so you can be informed whenever my videos are released. So again, today's topic of discussion is, are you in fantasy land about what your relationship should look like? I'm gonna give you four tips. First of all, I want you to stop comparing your relationship to others around you and what's working for them. Uh, I say this because I hear a lot of people talking about their relationships and um, what someone else is doing and what's working for another couple and how they wish their relationship was sort of like that or mimicked something that is going right for them in their own relationship. And that is kind of a fantasy land because, first of all, most of the time, most people haven't even talked about it with their partner and if this is something that they can incorporate into their own relationship so that's number one number two it could be a part of a fantasy land because what's working for one person and in their relationship it might not work for you like um, for example you see um, your friend or family member the guy is always whining and dining her and then you try to compare that to your own mate but that's not necessarily your mate's style. Your mate is expressing their love to you in a different manner. So again, just stop comparing your relationship to others and what's working for them. The next thing is I want you to stop thinking things will go like they do in the romantic comedies and or romance novels. That's just not the way things happen in real life <laughs> um, at the end of every romantic comedy or most of them. Um, the man has done something in the entire uh, in the entire movie he is trying to win the lady back a lot of times that just doesn't occur in real life uh he might he might have messed up he might know that he's messed up but he's he don't want to chase you like that so he's moved on with life so again don't get caught up in what's happening in the romantic comedies and you know he finally gets the girl at the end of the movie and they kind of live blissfully afterwards but honestly we don't know if they live blissfully afterwards because that's just a moment in their relationship maybe years have gone past and they didn't make it you know they didn't make it uh, so so don't compare yourself to romantic comedies and romantic novels the third thing is to stop thinking that every man or woman that you meet is you're the one that's just not true a lot of times people are in our lives for a season and um, they might be there just to teach us one thing or two things, three things, whatever the case may be. They might be there just to teach us a lesson and then they're gone, moving on your way. The lesson that you could learn from that is what you will not tolerate or what you will not put up with when you're the one comes along. So just don't think that every man and woman that you meet is you're the one. And finally... Uh, you hear my baby. <laughs> finally, I want you guys to be open to the possibilities that things won't be like everybody else's love life. And that's kind of like the comparison that I was talking about earlier. But just be open that your love life can and will be different than somebody else's. Than the fantasy land that you have written already up in your head. Um, a lot of times, women specifically get caught up in this fantasy land of what they have their mate look like what kind of job they have how many kids they gonna have with the dog what the wedding was like they have everything written in their mind and the problem with that is it that's only your fantasy and you're not including your mate in that so you want to know what you wearing down the aisle but you ain't thinking about your mate. You're thinking about how gorgeous and beautiful you're going to be in the colors. You got everything planned out. You 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 already got the, uh, the, the, the house picked out, which part of the city it is, how many kids you got. You got the names for the children. Everything is yours, though. It's not inclusive with your mate. So anyway, those are the four things. I'll go through them really quickly. Stop comparing your relationship to others and what's working for them. Number two is stop thinking that um, 
things will go like they do in the romantic comedies and or romantic novels. The third thing is to stop thinking that every man and woman that you meet is your the one. And finally, be open to the possibilities that things won't be like everyone else's love life. Go ahead, take these things into your life, incorporate them into your life, like I always say, and just be open to the possibility that you will find your mate when it is time. So continue to work on yourself, continue to build your self-esteem, continue to build your confidence, and when your mate does show up, you'll be ready for them. Okay, so don't forget that your girl is a certified relationship coach. If you are looking for a coach to help you out on your day-to-day, step-by-step to get things under control, Hit your girl up on any one of my platforms. You can find me on social media. Um, you can hit me up on YouTube or my Gmail account. Don't forget to give me thumbs up if you like this video. And, of course, share them on all of your social media sites. I will see you guys in the next video. Two fingers salute.